Good morning everyone. It is Saturday the 13th of June and we're taking a step back in time. Uh, there is a repeat workout but it's uh, been modified. Um, in teams of two. So we're going to share everything. We've got three eight minute AMRAPs with two minutes in between. So we've got AMRAP one is two renegade rows four overhead squats and six pull-ups then you'll cycle through there the best way to do this because we're going in pairs is athlete one will do the first exercise athlete two athlete one athlete two athlete one so each person does an exercise and you cycle through it go as many rounds as you can in eight minutes take a two minute rest then we do the same thing for the next one. Two devil's press, four thrusters, and six burpees. Same story. Two minute rest. And then we go into the last eight minute AMRAP of two squat cleans, four handstand push-ups, and six box jumps. So, let's just get some variations going. We've got our renegade rows. So again, if we've got dumbbells and or kettlebells, then we go variation one, you can do push up one, okay? Push up two, you can do it that way. If you want to scale it up, you can go push up, row, row is one, okay? Then push up, row, row, will be two that'll be your renegade rows if you've only got one implement then you can go push up row change over push up row right then we're gonna go for the single implement if you've got a bar or your odd object our usual bent over row and uh, and uh, push up so you can either go two bent over rows and then you can go two push ups that'll get you your uh, renegade row equivalents then we go into four overhead squats so whichever object you've got if you are able to go for the overhead squat go for the overhead squat if not rather go for an overhead lunge and you'll do four lunges in total so it'll be two lunges each leg if you can't do that then we'll go for whichever thruster you're able to do either a front or a back thruster then we go into the pull-ups if you're able to do pull-ups somewhere then do your six pull-ups if you need to tie your knot in your towel your tablecloth or your sheet hang it over the door close the door and do your rows otherwise let's use our sumo deadlift high pulls for our pull-up equivalent today because we're using the bent over rows for the renegade rows so if you can't do the pull-ups then we're going to do the sumo high pulls and it's just the sumo deadlift with the high pull if you've got a bar, if you don't have a bar, then we can use any of your objects where we go for your sumo. So remember it's a wide stance and we add the high pull to give you that pulling action for your pull-ups. <coughs> right, then we'll cycle through there as best as you can for eight minutes, two minute rest. Then we go into the devil's presses. Again, if you've got two implements, then you go for your burpee, come together, double arm snatch. If you prefer to, you can do your burpee and double arm snatch from the outside. Again, if you've only got single implement, it will be burpee, and then snatch from the inside on the one arm, burpee 
snatch on the other one. If you don't want to snatch, you can go burpee and then kettlebell swing. <clears throat> if you've got the bar or your odd object, then you'll do your burpee either on or behind the bar. So you do your burpee, come together and snatch. Give you another variation for your devil's press. Then we go into the thrusters as we've done all the times before. Front rack, so it's a squat and press. So you'll do four of those and into your burpee. So whatever object you've got, you're going to do your burpee over that object. What you want to try doing the burpees is try not to collapse your core. So keep the hips off the ground. So it's almost a non-contact burpee. So when you do your burpee, the body will stay off the ground, come in and jump over. Let's try get stronger here instead of that snaking and collapsing in the core. So we'll go through there for eight rounds, eight uh, minutes. Another two minute rest. We go into our squat cleans. So now we've got the full squat clean going from the shin into the full squat and up. If you have single implement, then you go from the center, go in the middle and squat clean into a front rack. Then we have our handstand push-ups. If you can, kick up against the wall and do your handstand push-ups. Remember your head must touch the ground before you return up. It's a no rep if you're just doing half movements, it's not going to do anything for you. So either kick up against the wall, do a full range of motion to get your head to the floor and then back up. If you can't kick up against the wall, do a wall walk up the wall so your face is facing the wall and you do your handstand that way. If you can't do that, we can have your feet or your knees on a bench or a box or a raised ele uh, uh, elevated surface and you're going upside down. So now you've got your position so that you're going similar to your handstand, but your head goes in front of your shoulders and your hands to give you that position for your handstands. If you can't do it with your feet elevated, then we just do the inchworm variation and we're gonna push our head in front of our hands to get the shoulder press. And again, if none of those work for you, let's go for just the strict presses. So we wanna work off the ground and you're gonna do the strict press with your feet out in front of you so that you can't cheat it by doing any push presses while standing. So go for the strict seated press if you can't do any of the progressions. Then we go into our box jumps. Again, either onto a chair or a table or box, wherever you can. Alternatively, we've got the squat jumps. And then you'll cycle through there as many times as you can in eight minutes. And 28 minute Saturday workout, done and dusted, ready for the weekend, stay warm.